Hi there and welcome to the let's play of Wing Commander. I'm Byron. You start that game by typing WC. Uh, but you could also start it by typing WC Origin. And mind the capital O. Uh, if you type Origin at the end of WC it actually activates the cheat mode. And I know cheating is bad and I won't cheat on general principle in that LP. But let's define one rule for this let's play. Let's say if I fail two times in a mission, then I will use the cheat to blow up the enemies. Because I don't think that it you know it actually creates a pleasurable and um fluid LP if you see me fail over and over on the mission. So to make progress with the story after two fails, after I botched the mission twice, then I will use the cheat to complete the mission so that we can actually move on in the game. And I know there are some very difficult missions where I will probably have to cheat. We will see how many those are. Um, yeah, there's another thing though. I don't want to have to uh, type in WC Origin all the time when I start the game. So I will create a batch file. It's too bad, I mean it's DOS box. It's not really DOS, so the edit program doesn't really work. Um, edit is a command of, it's a DOS command, but it's apparently not, maybe it's in Z. Edit? No, it's not there. It isn't included in here, but uh, I do have uh, an editor of some sort in the Norton Commander here. So I can work my way around here. So you just take this configuration file and copy it to a into a batch file. We can edit that and type our WC origin in here. Save. And that is it. Now I only have to hit A to get the game started. Origin FX Sound and Graphic System In the distant future, mankind is locked in a deadly war. Wing Commander Designed by Chris Roberts. Yeah, it's a Chris Roberts game. He had his hands in many parts of the game. In the creation of many parts of the game. And yeah, back in the day you actually got the credits in front of the game. I don't really know for sure whether you get them in the end of the game as well. I played that game quite often in the 90s. But it's been at least 10 years since I played it the last time. So you might say I'm a little bit rusted here. Produced by Chris Roberts and Warren Spector. Directed by Chris Roberts. Yeah, he always fancied himself somewhat of a director. I surely hope you didn't watch his Wing Commander movie. If you did, I'm really sorry for you. But truth be told, I suffered through that movie too. I don't really want to talk about it, I try to suppress the memory. 
Oh, looks like we're caught in a loop here. So let's move on. We will eventually play the secret missions too. But for continuity's sake, let's start with the Vega campaign. Get ready! Boom! Game over! Oh well, that was a short LP, I hope you had fun. Nah, just kidding. Congratulations, you have scored a top score. Please enter your name and call sign. The last name would be Chubai. And the call sign would be Blue Hair. And as you can see, we have a whooping 58,250 points. What we saw here actually is the combat simulation computer. We can fly training missions in here. You have to select an enemy that is a Dralty, a light fighter. This is a Salty, somewhat of a medium fighter. This is a Grunt, somewhat of a medium heavyweight heavy fighter. And that is the Gratka, a really heavy fighter. Since in this combat simulation we will be flying uh, a Hornet, which is a light fighter, I think it's only fitting that we battle Dralties. Move it. See, there she is. That's a Dralty. But if you watched my LP of Private you should be familiar with the cockpit layout. We have the radar in the middle of the screen. On left to the radar there is the status bar of the shield, the shield energy. As you might notice, the game, at least this combat simulation in the game, does not differentiate between front and aft shields. The game actually does that. But if you're playing that if you're playing that simulation here, it doesn't make a difference whether your shield is attacked from the front or from the back, it just ignores at the same shield energy. And uh, on the right side of uh, the radar is the fuel gauge. While shield energy does recharge, regenerate, uh, the fuel you spent while using the afterburner is gone for good. On the left side of the radar we have our weapons display. As you can see we have two laser guns, we have dart dump fire missile and we have javelin heat seeking missiles. We won't use them on that little Dralty here. There. And on the right side we have the targeting display. It shows a Dralty. As you can see its shields are gone. And the red parts of the sh uh, Dralty are the damaged parts. So I, I guess this Dralty isn't going to make it much longer. See? It's losing parts. Hull integrity is going down. Damn, but she still rammed us. Okay, but we killed it. Now we have to fight two Dralties instead of only one. The odds are constantly increasing. As you see, we already punched through that Dralty's shields. And now we knew that that blinking light means there is a missile on its way that wanted to do some, you know, reconfiguration on our ship. I don't really like that. That's what Grease Monkeys are there for. So it's always good to try to outrun them with your afterburner. Ouch. Shit. Leave me in peace. There she blows. Next. What else do we have? We have a damage display here. Apparently there's no damage yet, but don't worry, this ship will be badly damaged. Before we're through here. And yeah, we of course we get points for killing uh, kitties. But as if you can pull off the feet that is, but as you might have mentioned we also get points for staying alive. For every second we continue in this simulation we get points. I really like that. Points for continued existence. And you know, above our radar there is this blaster gauge that shows you the energy that you still have for your blasters. If you keep spamming the shots for quite a long time, 
you might actually run out of energy for the blaster and then your firing um, the firing speed will decrease oh they got us okay I wasn't paying attention to the shield here but still it is was enough to score the number one uh, place in the high score ladder so we got 154,620 points that's not really much but it doesn't matter even if you have like half a million points which is doable uh, after the first mission somebody will be better than you this here actually is the some sort of the bar where you can get some R&R &R. Uh, I bought a carrier here and that is the bartender he's named Chutglass so we can talk to him belly up friend and take a load off you must be blue hair. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard the Claw. Used to be a pilot myself. Till the Fleabags shut me up so bad I couldn't fly. I guess I flew with most every pilot on the Claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old Shot Glass is the guy to ask. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. Okay, and here we have Paladin. Ark Lady, take a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there, we were flying patrol over Eckhart, the fourth planet in the Alliance system. These four Kalrathi Salty came zooming in with the sun at their backs. What is the point, monsieur? There is one, oui? I was leading up to it, lass. That day we learned that the Salty will always turn to the left. It's got something to do with the way our engines and ducts are arranged. So when your tail is salty, watch to the left. That's where you'll go when he makes its break. Okay, that's a useful, useful piece of information actually. Uh, you could also battle salties in here. That actually, that's actually what a salty looks like, see? Increase speed. Hey, this one came actually through, awesome. The salty, as you see, um, is a as a heavy, as a pilot it's a little more heavier. Not not a really heavy one, but still somewhat medium. Mediumish fighter. As you might be careful though, because you don't you really don't want to play chicken with it. It has I think four lasers in front of it. That can really lay on the hurt if you play chicken with it. And as you can see the shields of the kitty Regener regenerate as well as yours do unless you manage to destroy the shield generator then they're gone for good hey kitty what's up okay now I got your shields oh she blows yeah but I'm not fighting uh, Yalti's salties now okay and that here is the crown See, it always tells you in the radar, in the targeting. What the fuck was that? Why did you ram me? It also always tells you in the targeting box what kind of kitty ship you are facing right now. Shit, I'm not ramming you this time, my friend. Looks like your shields are gone, my friend. Ah, this time you saw a dump fire a missile in action and actually killed the Krant. So if the, you know the dump fire, it only flies straight ahead. But if the enemy is really close to you, then you might actually pull it off to hit it. And the last one is the Gratka. It is actually suicide to battle this one in the horn. And as you might see, 
The first shot actually, see, takes away your shields. It's that's really unbelievable. No, I will not play chicken with you, that's just stupid. But you, you can't stay behind it, that uh, ship long enough to hurt it. So, yeah, it doesn't work. It's, it's really suicide. You need something stronger to battle that. At least I need it. And here we have a beautiful angel. Bonjour, Lieutenant. You are called Blue Hail, no? I'm called Angel. I just I am just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with Karate. You would like to know what I have learned, perhaps? The Dorati is the Karate fighter seen most in the sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy Dorati, while over 7 direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this information is useful to you, Lieutenant. Not too much. I mean, since the Hornet has two missiles, two dump, uh, three missiles, two dump fire, and one heat seek, you would could take out two, uh, one, um, Dralty and damage a second one. As you can see, this is the chalkboard, but we didn't kill anything yet. We didn't play any missions yet, so let's go to the barracks. Here you can take a look at your medals. We don't really have any. Second Lieutenant Chibai, Aka Blue Hair. We have some patches there, I don't really know what they stand for, but that's really nothing. And you can save your progress here. That is very useful. You can't do anything with those pin up girls though, sadly. This is how you leave the game. You could also exit by pressing Alt X. And that takes you to the mission hangar where you can actually fly your missions. Mission Briefing, Enya System, 0600 hours. Well, that's fast. You have to read that for yourself. That is Colonel Halkian, just in case you're wondering, the squadron commander. And yeah, we're flying uh, the Killer Bee squadron right now. That's a squadron that consists of Hornet ships, light fighters. Just like we had in the simulation. Yeah, yeah, we are leading Alpha Wing. I like Spirit. Sure thing. And that's why I called him Blue Hair. So, you'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near NAV 2 and 3, so stay on course. Oh, damn it, asteroid fields. Any questions? Yes, Commander. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Uh, shoot it? Just a word, yes. Engage if the odds look good. Let Blue Hair make the call. Next is Better Wing. Veteran dismissed. This actually is the real cockpit of a Hornet. So we still have our weapon loadout here. Um, that here is the NAV computer. So we have to go to NAV 1, from there to NAV 2, to NAV 3, and return to the Tiger's Claw. 
You can also s manually select your nav points, but we will just fly from 1 to 2 to 3 and back to the claw. Okay, so let's engage the autopilot. And Spirit sees enemies. Yeah, I see them too. She's ready to engage. Don't overdo it, girl. Let the trilogy get a little closer and then start firing. How could you survive that? I think she's trying to get away now. The little kitty, it's not working. Uh, he wants to feast on my offspring. Die, Furball. I always like that. Hey, spirit. Key formation. Yeah, you wanna be careful with your Ming Man. They can actually die on you. And if they do, you have to fight the next battle on your own. Or the next battles, actually. But of course, sometimes you really need their help. Oh, she blows. Okay. Damn, hazard near. That's the asteroid field, see? Shit. Careful. You can try to blow those asteroids up, but it's best to avoid them. And sometimes they sneak up on you. They just appear out of nowhere in your in your view. And several times you have to battle Kilrathi in an asteroid field as well. That can work to your advantage or to your disadvantage. I mean, it's useful. If you can't nail the kitty, it might actually crash into an asteroid and kill itself. But then again, you might crash into an asteroid trying to evade the kitty. Or it's fire. Okay, I think we're through. Increase the speed. More enemies. No shit. This time it's a it's a salty. Don't make anything stupid. Come on. Yeah, that, that was German. It means come on. Oh, damn it. I wasted a missile here. I wanted to blow it up with a dump fire. But uh, the kitty died too early, actually. Spirit form my wing. I don't want you to get hurt. Well, the good thing about Spirit is she actually follows your order, at least for a while. Other, other uh, wingmen just tell you out outright to go and blow yourself. Okay, now the heat seek is trying to lock. Let's see whether we can pull it up. 
pull that off? No. You have to re stay behind the enemy ship for a while because you need the heat signature of its tailpipes. Okay. Let's see what the missile does. It kills it. Oh, damn it, another asteroid field. Hey, well, if you think the asteroids are annoying, wait till you see a minefield. But we're on our way back to the claw. It's a good thing. It's still 31,000 kilometers away. I think we're through. Yeah, whenever that auto sign lights up, you can activate the autopilot. And here we have the tiger's claw. Hey, wait, what's that? There's a spider on my wall. Well, now it's dead. Okay, um, there's something I want to show you. This is the view, the cockpit view here. Ahead, you could also take a... No. Take a peek out of the left hand window or the right hand window. There we see spirit. You could take a look at the through the back window. There are external cameras as well. We don't really need them. Most of the time we just take the front view here. And yeah, if you wanna land on the tiger slayer, you gotta request uh, permission to land. Okay, we're clear to land. And be sure that you approach the tiger's claw from the right angle. I think it's the front. You have to see that slot here. If you see it, then you can land. If you approach the tiger's claw from another angle, you will crash into it, and that might very well be the end of you. You got away pretty clean, so yep, it was smooth sailing. Mission debriefing. Welcome back, Blue Hair. Looks like you survived your first trip out. He is a very able pilot, Commander. It is an honor to fly on his wing. That's high praise coming from Spirit. You should be proud, Blue Hair. In any case, you flew well out there. I have reviewed the mission report from your flight recorder. Let's go over the mission report. You got five of the hairballs, Blue Hair, and Spirit came up empty. That's all then, dismissed. And we are back in the launch. Let's talk to Shot Glass. Here you flew with Spirit yesterday, Blue Hair. She's a quiet little thing, but she's a heck of a flyer. She's rock steady, follows orders and don't fire then she's sure of a shot. I was always glad to have Spirit on my wing when I was still flying. Yep, and here we have Spirit. She's actually quite talented. She can play the guitar too. Konnichi machi, my son. Please, take a seat. If I may say so, you are doing quite well. Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him though, Honorable Second Lieutenant. The credit for a mission's success is due its leader, not his assistance. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. I assure you, I speak what is in my heart. And here we have Hunter. You're blue hair, right? They call me Hunter, mate. G'day. It's an Aussie, obviously. Spirit here was telling me about your tumble with the hairballs. Sounds like you really mix it up out there. That's the way, isn't it, mate? Just you and some hairball twisting about trying to get a missile lock. Formations, uniforms, medals, wingman, that's all sheep dip. All the Bruce can count on out there is himself and his missiles. And let's check the chalkboard. So we 
uh, scratched five kitties in one sortie. But we're still the bottom of the barrel. But that will change, don't worry. So let's go to the barracks, take a look at our medals. Nothing much has changed, we probably got another patch or something. Okay. So how about we save it and call it a video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.